Hello, this is the second part of my Latin tutorial. Today I'm, I'm going to show how to uh, use Apache for exposing your Latin web service. First of all, I want to make uh, my Python handler uh, for Apache WSGI and uh, I should create a directory somewhere for my site to point to. So I'm going to do this first. Let's have a place to work. I'm going to call it latontest.org and I want a sub directory called service. Oops, forgot the command. Um, let's just go there. Okay, now I want to make my handler. WSGI handler. I'm just going to call it handler.py. Um, okay. Um, to make a to create a Latin handler for uh, WSGI is very simple. Uh, actually, all you need is two lines of code. Um, you need to import the let on WSGI application and uh, then just create an instance of it, that's all. So let's let's just do it. From let on server WSGI import let on WSGI application. Okay, and our application object application. and um, here comes a list of the uh, modules you want to uh, add to uh, your Latin WSGI application and uh, I'm just gonna add one called test service Um, and I want to add a search path okay that's it that was uh, the application so uh, now uh, all I need to do is make sure that I have uh, Leap Apache mod uh, Leap Apache 2 mod WSGI Py3 installed because in this example I want to use Python 3 uh, so you can see that Latin is running okay with uh, Python 3. This is uh, the command you want to issue uh, to install WSGI support for Apache in Ubuntu. Uh, I have already done this, so it's not going to take a long time. Okay, so uh, like I showed uh, in the last tutorial, I need to install uh, Latin as well. Uh, I used Python 2 in the last uh, tutorial, so uh, I need to install Latin for Python 3. Uh, first, I will have to install Python 3 setup tools. And then install Latin using easy install 3 uh, and Latin. Okay, let's just see if. Uh, Latin is there. Import Latin. Yes, it's okay. And we were we are uh, running Python version 3.2. Okay. So now all we uh, need is uh, to create a service. Uh, I'm gonna make a very simple one. It was test service 
app.i and need a class test patcher test service dev Okay. Um, well, let's just uh, do this, and we need let on from let on. no pa uh, parameters defined so it's just gonna be our type and we are returning the str type which is unicode support in python 3 okay there now all we need is to uh, set up uh, an apache site It's not uh, that important how uh, Apache is set up. The important thing is that uh, you have uh, the WSGI script alias uh, someplace. You could uh, actually just uh, add the script alias inside your uh, default site. But uh, in this tutorial, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a, a virtual host called uh, Lelantest.org. Virtual host. Server name Ladon test .org. What more do we need? We need the WSGI script alias. Uh, we'll just call that service, and it should point at our application directory. just make sure that uh, we have access to this directory Just skip uh, logs for now, and uh, let's uh, enable this site. Insight. Eleven. What's wrong? A2 insight let on okay there's simply no auto completion here okay let's test the uh, configuration config t 
chest. Nope. Yeah. Forgot something. Okay. Restart the, ser the server, and uh, now I only need one thing because uh, laddon test.org is uh, not something I have in any DNS server, so uh, I need to cheat here. I'm gonna edit the host files and just uh, add it here to my local host. Okay, let's see if uh, we have anything. Two misspellings. Okay, let's try again. Ta da! Apache test service. Okay, so everything seems to be running, and uh, this was uh, actually all I wanted to show in this tutorial um, how to use Apache uh, with Ladan. Thanks for watching.